uh, our good buddy Living Free, uh, Michael. Okay. I screwed up his name okay. too, by the way. Sorry, Mike. Uh, you know, he just did the same thing as me. Apparently, you seem like a Mike rather than a Mike. So, I'm not the only one Sorry, that buddy. did it. <laughs> Our good friend is starting uh, something called Fan Stock. I think yeah. he helped with the name on that, right? The yeah. That. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Cool. So, 2015. Yeah. So, um, and then our ultra celebrity, Nomadic Fanatic, uh, just mentioned he plans to attend uh, with his own caravan. And he'll be uh, doing a meetup with Mike's caravan, and then they'll eventually make it down to Quartzsite. Uh, do you have any plans to attend the caravan uh, or, or meet up with the, the snowboarding seasonal? I think they're going to do it for the season. Do you plan to like uh, make a cameo appearance or anything like that? It depends on when Mike ends up heading down there, whether I'm going to do the, uh, the caravan. Uh, I think it would be awesome to do the caravan, but I will probably be making the way out there just before it. I'm probably not going to be there for the whole season, you okay. know. Uh, I will be I will be at Van Sock for December first through uh, December fifteenth. Wow, nice. uh, heard and <laughs> Mike has asked me to help plan it, so okay. uh, it'll be a it should be an absolute blast, guys. Uh, we didn't have it really planned to be an event when we we're out at the slabs. We, we had a lot of people show up. We had a really good time, and I think Van Sock will be ten times what. The fun awesome. we had in the slabs. Awesome. So. I'm hoping to make an appearance myself and be awesome. part of that. It's awesome really cool sauce. Thing. Yeah, <laughs> right on. Uh, your channel name is Wonderlust Estate, and I'm curious just to know uh, how you came up with that name. Uh, I may be reading into this, so forgive me, uh, but I, I know you had some medical issues at one point. It was forecasted to dra drastically shorten your life, I think. Um, is the estate in the name as someone that leaves something behind, at, like you were leaving your wanderlust adventures behind to other YouTubers? Uh, am I, I way off base like, on that? I was reading between the lines. So. You know, I can't say that it had that much meaning to it, but I think that's really cool, so I might change it to what cool. you just said. Yeah, you, you know, that might be what I start telling everybody. Yeah. But uh, the, the, real okay. thing, the real thing on it is um, I have... I've always had wanderlust, guys. Like yeah. I, I love to travel. I love seeing new places. I love meeting new people. It, it brings a smile to my face. It, it it energizes me and makes me excited about life. And so, estate, the yeah. estate portion comes from the fact that I see the world as my estate, right? Okay. Okay. And, I was so you know, off base on yeah, that one. So, <laughs> so wherever I am at, that's my estate. Gotcha. So, okay. yeah. so, and then uh, I did think, I did do a little thing with uh, kind of language vowels sort of thing with it. I thought it was kind of cool to call it Wanderlust because like if you pronounce the W in uh, German, it's Wanderlust. Wanderlust. So <laughs> it's Wanderlust, you know, because oh, the band. Yes. Okay, cool. Wanderlust. <laughs> right on, man. So. I get it. So like you're... The entire nation is your backyard, right? It's your estate. Yeah. You know, you open up your door and you can be in any place. You're yeah. right? you got a home on wheels. The world's my estate. There you go, man. <laughs> got you. Okay, I get it. Uh, can you share your evangeline plans for the future as far as, like, vacation trips that you have in mind? For example, uh, Will Burson just uh, told me that he's uh, got a trip planned to New Orleans next week. Uh, do you have anything like that uh, in, in the works, James? Not like in the immediate future, but I do plan on making like little excursions around uh, the uh, Florida yeah, area. Kind of like we talked so about, yeah. I'm I'm centrally lo located, right, pretty much in the center of Florida. So a huge number of the attractions and beaches uh, that Florida has to offer yeah. are all, all within a couple of hours to where I am right now. So I hope to be able to take advantage on you know weekend trips and Absolutely. stuff to go and experience Florida. So and will Catalina be joining you on uh, these? Of course. Nice. So yeah. she's she's all. Got to sell that car, guys. There's <laughs> yeah, another man. plug. Plug, plug, plug. Click the buy now am button I, here. Am I a better salesman now? Is that, <laughs> is that pretty good? <laughs> you need to sell that car. Come on, guys. Yeah. So as you mentioned, uh, you did uh, two months of van dwelling with Catalina in order to quickly pay off some debt before you moved to Orlando. Now that you have a full-time gig in Orlando, a job, uh, will you be continuing the full-time van dwelling, or do you have like other alternative living uh, ideas such as like mobile homes, RVs, tiny homes, or will be will Catalina be forcing you to get an apartment? No, she's not going to. No, she she's reluctant. 
completely coming around uh, on things. Um, uh, she's definitely she definitely isn't a hardcore banner girl. That's <laughs> that's for sure. She's not she's not too keen on uh, doing that. I, I think as soon as the debt's paid, uh, cool. she would definitely not be interested in that. But um, we do have plans on getting an RV. Um, do you? Yeah. Right on. I'm trying to I'm trying to keep us in a class B and she was trying to get me to look at class A's so you can imagine the difference there yeah, uh, and so I, I'm trying to talk her to into maybe a wide body class B where there's still room and yeah we still have all the main amenities because she's so little man I should be the one worried about space right <laughs> <laughs> Cool, right on. So, like a, an Explorer class B, uh, the Explorer model. Well, I do really, I right did now. really. I, oh yeah, with of course. Happily homeless. It's, it's homeless, houseless. 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 I get that wrong. Hey, don't make me go get my beard. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really like Justin's uh, rig. That was pretty nice. Obviously, uh, happily houseless went and got the same rig. Um, I wouldn't even be against um, possibly building out my own version in, say, an 18 passenger van and putting a high top on it. Wow. Uh, I'm going to be looking into that, guys, a little bit more. I happen to be about 60 miles from a place in uh, Florida that they do custom RVs at builds out of vans. Oh, wow. So, so cool. I'm going to go and see, see if I can. Uh, you know, get video of what they're doing over there, and uh, then also maybe uh, you know help out there, or, or, or uh, maybe help promote what they're oh, doing gotcha, to yeah. help the cost of maybe a build of my own, and get some advice from them as far as whether I could even do something in the van I have. I think it would be extremely cool if I could keep the same van, yeah. put a high top on it, and build out something that would be comfortable. Yeah. It's just something that would be so cool about that. You know, and then we could have the RV amenities, but still, you know, it's still the same van. I feel like I should hug it, you know? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to um, give it up. It's your baby. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. That's what I started in. I mean, uh, that might not be realistic, especially, you know, you need it longer to get a good size bed and everything that you want with the shower and stuff. But, okay. and then also, there's some issues where it's built on, my van's built on a half ton chassis. Oh, okay. And really, it pro you probably need a full ton chassis to handle the weight that, yeah. For that kind of build, it. and you know, I mean, look at look at the Explorer. Those are dually yeah, you know, right. versions that are like full ton or ton okay. and a quarter or okay. something. So, so, but I'm gonna go and talk to them and see about their advice on it. And so you'll be you'll be hearing a little bit more about that in the future. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that your van dwelling experiences aren't coming to an end. You're not moving to an apartment or anything. No, There's I'm living in a future. van right now in Orlando. Just don't yeah. tell nobody. It's a secret. Yeah. <laughs> Too late. So, uh, well, thanks, James. Uh, yeah. You're a total inspiration to the community. Yeah. Uh, I look forward man. to see what you got coming up next. Absolutely. So, man. thanks a lot for taking time, man. Yeah. yeah. Get out there, connect with people, live your big story, make sure you do something every day to help reduce world size. Peace, guys. Peace.